is seeing something, but then nothing wrong with the darkness behind. Beneath the gaze of fire eyes, a deep mind speaks me for the size. Oh, fallen shepherd, stained in shame, your sacred bells now just a name. You came by stealing your secrets back. The cloth you wore, now torn and tear. A symphony of song, chants and sound, in this abyss where sins are wrong. A priest entwined in darkness deep, in hell's embrace, forever deep. sins to confess. I've come here to speak the truth. My conscience is as clear as a child's. I have been framed and almost driven to insanity. But I am resolute in my faith. Oh Lord, that cursed day. It began like any other. Nothing could have predicted the horrifying events that would unfold later that night. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but... Hello? Hello. Is this Father Matthias? Yes, speaking. How may I assist you? This is Marina Constanza. I'm a member of your parish, though I think it's unlikely you know me. I'm not much of a churchgoer. Oh, it may seem weird for me to come out nowhere and ask for your help. I'm not even a good Christian. Banish the thought. God, in his infinite mercy, takes care of all his children. But please, tell me more about what's troubling you. <sighs> Thank you, Father. You're too kind, but I'd rather not talk on the phone about my situation. I'd like to meet you in person if possible. It is a, well, a delicate matter. Can I come by? I live not far from there. Oh, certainly. I've just finished my prayers and I'm about to prepare some tea. Do you have any preferences? You're too kind. A cup of strawberry tea would be lovely. Right, then I'll be expecting you. If I'm not available, Felix, one of my students, will assist you until I return. Thank you. I'll see you soon. God bless, and be safe on your way here. I recall it well. It was a few days before Christmas, just after Vespers. The distant sound of the organ in a nearby chapel filled the air as I readied myself to meet Lady Marina.
Europe is currently grappling with a disturbing surge in violent crimes. Extensive research has been conducted to shed light on this disconcerting reality. While we may express our concerns and diligently prosecute the perpetrators, the justice system is actively seeking innovative approaches to prevent these violent acts from occurring in the first place. Psychologists have revealed that a significant majority of criminals bear the weight of troubled pasts which fosters a misguided belief that they possess the upper hand and the right to seek revenge against those they perceive as weaker. Moreover, research highlights a lack of moral compass among the younger generation, which could be a key contributing factor to the increase in violent crimes. Many individuals in this generation look to institutions such as schools, the government, and even the church for moral guidance, raising questions about the trustworthiness of these institutions.
Good evening. My name's Marina. We talked earlier on the phone. Good evening, and God bless. I am Father Matthias Martin, at your service. a lovely place. I always wondered how priests live, all by themselves. Must be terribly lonely. You know, this is a, a delicate situation. I'm considering your feelings, and I don't want to be callous, but it's just not possible. What can I say? I'm not good at discussing romantic love between a man and a woman. I can preach to you about the love of God. I understand, Father. I understand. Oh, I feel so naive. I shouldn't have come here. I'm the only one to blame for this embarrassment. You shouldn't talk like that. There's no shame in loving someone. But not like this. We can still be friends in Christ. Oh, spare me that talk. I don't need a sermon. Pour me a glass of wine and I'll be on my way. was the last thing I expected. But in retrospect, Felix always was a bit nosy.
She lay, lifeless, her gaze fixed on the ceiling. Her expression was one of terror, blood oozing from her mouth. What could have caused this? What terrible chain of events could have led to this? They trembled, overwhelmed by an uncontainable fear. The entire house was spinning with me. I was in deep trouble. 